All right. All right, we're back. What is that? Ah, finally. Okay. All right, so this... Man, we must have fucking checked a lot of this shit out already. So there's a drawer here. I didn't check all the doors out on the other side of the office rooms. So let's just check out the rest of the rooms in this area. And then move on. Is this not a door? Nope. I'm pretty sure we meet Vincent down here somewhere. I think it might be in this... Oh no, this is not the place. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. I know there's gonna be something in this one, because it's open. Right, we've got first aid kit and the ampule. Because apparently the only people that work here are nurses. Right, well that's it for that room. Next. No? That's it? Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. So that means we've checked all of the rooms, right? I'm just checking. Right, okay. All of the rooms have been thoroughly checked. It's time to f leave. Oh no, I've been in there. I've been in there. Okay, next. We've done this room, haven't we? This is the law offices. No, we haven't been in the law offices. No, we can't go in the law offices, so it doesn't really matter. Let's try some of these doors. We've been through here? Apparently not. No. No. Apparently I've been... Apparently I can go through here, but I've not checked all the doors. Okay, what's we here? Nope. Nope. Ah. <laughs> Creepy shit. This is the only mannequin with a head. Oh, hang on. What does it say? It's the only note where the, its head is the only note where the thing about it is just a mannequin. You can see it. You can see it. You saw it happen. Handgun bullets. Shotgun shells. Okay. There, see? This... This is blood. But I don't know why the katana is better than the lightsaber. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Right, okay. So what we got was some shotgun shells out of that, so I'm guessing there's not a great deal in the rest of this. We came in through the door upstairs, didn't know one of these doors. Like, I mean, literally entered the building to begin with. Now, I can't see a lot of anything. So I guess we can't go to the fourth floor. We've checked a lot of the shit on the fifth floor and there wasn't much there whatsoever. Sixth floor I don't think we're going to be able to get to. I just don't think we can get there. Maybe we can go down to the first floor and the second floor. So let's try getting out of here. I think we've got to climb the elevator. Oh no, wait, we can't, can we? Alright. So we can't go down, we have to use the stairs. But I'm not sure, oh, what's the menu? <laughs> I still do that. I've been playing it all day and I'm still doing that. Alright, so where are the stairs? Literally not explained. Alright, well, I'm sure we can just fucking guess. There's another elevator. Exit. It's probably that one. I didn't design the place, but I can tell an exit when I see one. Alright, down we go. 
Can't go to that floor. And we can't go to that floor. Is there anything in here that's interesting? Bunch of shit. Plenty of junk behind the stairs. Alright. Did we try the sixth floor? Maybe we should. You see, nowadays you'd have to fast travel up the stairs, but this one game, you have to actually walk it. To find out it's locked. Right, okay, back down we go. So we checked out the fifth floor, didn't we? Didn't we? Yeah, well, we better check it again, because there's probably something in here we need. I'm pretty sure we don't have anything that's going to let us crack open. I mean, we've got a screwdriver. Can we pry it open with a screwdriver? I had not even considered that. Maybe we should go try the screwdriver on the thing first. I mean, I would have considered the screwdriver for something more, you know, traditional. Okay. So the rope is... I don't know. Where is it? <laughs> Uh, right, left, left, through the door, left, left, no, must be another left, left, through the door, uh, I think it's this one, There's the drawer. You know when it's a slow fade out that it's something of interest. Alright, okay, the drawer's open. Maybe we can pry it open with a screwdriver. I've not, I've not really thought about it. It's not usually what this... Okay. <laughs> yes, we can pry it open with a screwdriver. What do I know? We can wedge pry it open. Okay, so now we got the rope. Pfft. That was it. I had, the, I had the answer to that all along. <laughs> I didn't think about that. You know, you use a screwdriver for screwing things. This isn't like... like I call myself, like, really good at adventure games. We have to, like, point and click adventure games. We have to, like, mix this and that and do this to that and fucking all of that shit. But, like, I still, even though after all of that, I still, like, go, like, well... <laughs> Surely the rope will be used for climbing or tying something, you know. I, I look at the most traditional use of something, and that's why I fucking sucked at Sam and Max hit the road. Because, like, Christ, it was hard. Like, I could not think, I could not solve majority of the problem. I had to look up majority of that. I felt terrible. It took me a year to beat Monkey Island 3 because I kept on getting stuck on puzzles and I just tried everything with everything until eventually I got it right. Anyway, we finally got to the fourth floor, so let's go exploring. What's through here? Nothing. 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 Nope. Finally, a door that opens. What we got in here? Is this a reception area? There's catalogs scattered around. Shelf's broken. What's this? Doesn't look like there's anything important. Okay. I'll take your word for it, Heather. Something on the floor? Hello, what is this? And I thought it was something interesting. Turns out it was just beef jerky. Oh, I think this is the room that we enter. There's a bathtub in here. Oh, a bathtub display. There's a dark red stain on the bottom. <gasps> it's just for display. It can't really be used. I was talking about... I wasn't interested in using the toilet. I was interested... I thought that was something on the toilet that was worth looking at. I didn't want to use the toilet, Heather. Guys, can you imagine the... Oh, wait. What's in here? Well, now I know that has something to do with something that's going on in here. 
All right, go on. I'll play the game. This is when light turns to dark. <sighs> I knew it. I wouldn't want to touch the floor. If, I were... if that was happening on the floor, I would be like, oh shit, I better stand on a chair. Fuck this. It's being invaded by the other world. By a world of someone's nightmarish delusions come to life. Oh, this must be where we meet him. No, not again. Did she do this too? Yeah, she rigged that bathtub. That Claudia bastard. Right, well, the room is very different now, as I'm sure you can tell. So this is the other world. Banging. Sounds like something's moving around somewhere. What the fuck is this? Got nothing to say about that, apparently, though. Look, it's just a fucking dude hanging. And then holding what looks like a... Is that a child? Some sort of doll baby? Or is that a real baby? Who knows? This is Silent Hill. Handgun bullets. A mummy-like thing in the wheelchair is just a doll. Or is it? Something about it makes me uneasy. Why, I wonder. Let's fucking kill it! Put it out of its misery! Fuck that thing! Piece of shit. Let's get out of here. I haven't come to a place dressed this fabulous to be turned down like this. Okay. Let's check these other doors then. Nope. Well, of course the bloodstained door opens. Oh yeah, this is... Okay, this is must be where I'm meeting then. It's the reception area and it goes into another room. Oh, there's something here. Find the Holy One. Kill her? Question mark. Oh, on the other side is a picture of Heather. That's me. Who could have taken this photo? That's really creepy. I'm sure you should be used to creepy stuff by now, Heather. Ooh, crap. I could see it, and then she's like... I set the, I set this to 2D controls, because I'm just better with it. Because I find tank controls to absolutely suck. I'm sorry. I have never been able to master them. Actually, the only time I did okay with them was in the, the uh, Resident Evil 1 remake. I finally, after like a long period of time... Actually, no, I think they were 3D con 2D controls as well. Well, what do you know? I've never been good with tank controls. Actually, no, I beat Silent... I beat Resident Evil Hill... Resident, <laughs> Resident Evil Hill... Resident Evil 2. I'll shut up. what you're called now, isn't it? <laughs> and who are you? The name's Vincent. Don't forget it, okay? I'm on your side. So you say. But how do I know you're not with her? Her? You mean Claudia? Please don't lump me together with her. She was totally brainwashed by that crazy old hag. I guess crazy old hag is a bit harsh. She is your mother, after all. My mother? What do you mean? You don't remember? 
remember? Uh, so Harry didn't tell you anything. I guess he hid the truth to keep you on his side. Hey, that figures. He's a pretty sneaky guy. Don't talk about my dad like that! <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. I apologize. Please, calm down. How do you know my father anyway? I know everything. I know about your past, too. Then tell me what's going on. You don't know even that? That's why I'm asking. If you know everything, then tell me how I can put an end to this. Not yet. Why not enjoy yourself a bit longer? Enjoy? I feel like I'm going crazy. Doesn't this place get to you at all? Oh, it gets to me all right. I find it most fascinating. Wait! I'm not finished talking! I knew you were on her side. How do you figure? There's something wrong with you too. I can't go back in, I think. I don't think I'll go in this room. That weird guy's in there. Yeah, you can't go back in. Oxidol. Health drink. First aid kit. First aid kit. How many have I got now? I must have fucking hundreds of first aid kits. Alright, we've got four health drinks. Six first aid kits. Two ampules. 51 pistol rounds. Si only six shotgun shells? I thought I had to... More 15 beef jerkies. Wow, yeah, I'm totally going to use that. Can yeah. I just eat the beef jerky? Surely that would restore some health. If a health drink will. There's a junior high school chemistry book here. When you pour dilute... Yeah, I know. Okay, I already know where this is going. I remember this puzzle. I think I remember more of the ones later in the game than I do some of the earlier ones. And I'm definitely going to remember them more than the ones I didn't actually do at all. So where is this fucking thing? Have I been through these rooms? I don't think I've checked this door. Oh, now I have. Fucking hate the dogs. Come on, kill it. You're next. You creepy little shit. What the fuck? Get off me. Oh, this was the fucking thing. I just realized this is the thing that was sitting at the bottom of the river. Let's just fucking shoot him. This is taking too long. Get up, Heather. There's a, there's a dog on you. Partially mummified dog as well. I don't know what it, I don't know what his deal is, but can we? It, all it does is knock me over. Get up! Shoot the fucking thing! It's like a fucking man alligator or something. Oh, and it's get back up, and I'm down again. Come on, shoot it! Fucking piece of shit! Yeah, that was tiring. But, we emerge triumphant, again. Let's switch back to the fucking... Let's have the lightsaber. Ah, that's good enough for me.
Well, what do you know? <laughs> that doesn't really come as a surprise. The thing is, even when the elevator does work in a Silent Hill game, you know it's probably not good. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. So I'm going to guess certain ones are going to be blacked out, because it didn't let me go to the first and second floor the first time. I don't think it's going to let me do it this time. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at this fucking thing. Look at this place. Alright, what we got? Bet the buttons aren't even going to be there. Can we go to the first floor? Oh, we were on this. Oh, yeah, we were, weren't we? We were on the second floor. I don't think there's much we can actually do down here. There's like something. Whatever the fuck that is. I don't think we can hurt it. I think my favorite thing about this entire this this entire playthrough is just like the stark contrast between look at this fucking grimy ass place and then Heather Mason with a lightsaber. Like it's it's just it's like the juxtaposition is just insane. All right, so I've not actually tried any of the doors in this area. What was that? Yeah, there's some sort of monster there. We know that. I could have told you that. Let's see if there's anything worth actually having on this first floor. Don't feel like getting up. Okay. Oh, now he's going to get up. Did you hear that? Was that a voice? He didn't actually get to do anything. <laughs> that was it. He didn't actually do anything. But there was definitely a voice. But I don't know what it said. Oh. Oh, this is... For some reason, the only thing in the fridge is liver. I hope it's not rotten. Pork liver. Okay, there we go. There's something on the table here. There are cigarette butts all over the counter. Oh shit, what's that say? Pretty yucky, but otherwise not worth of mentioning. There's a dirty glass on the counter. It looks average enough. It could be the glass of the devil. Who knows? This register broken. There's money scattered all over. The register and cash aren't much use to me right now. Are you kidding me? You want to come out of here with something, right? <laughs> Don't you want to come out of here with something? Alright, so we checked out that room and there wasn't much of interest in there besides the liver, so we got that. Nothing. Nope. Nada. Any more doors? Just this one. And it's locked. Alright. So I think that's it. We might as well go. Oh, actually, no. There's, uh, there's the elevator. We haven't tried this door, have we? No, it doesn't open. And there's nothing else here. Now I know the puzzle that involves putting the bucket, putting the like the the liver and the oxidol and something. I think there's another ingredient to that in the bucket. I remember that puzzle. I'm not sure if there is a third ingredient, so we might try it with just the two and then see what happens. But I think there's definitely. I think there's a third ingredient. Oh yeah, we've got to actually select the floor. Alright, so we should probably check out... Did we check out all the second floor? Let's just go to the third floor and then come back. I don't want to forget... I don't want to waste my time. Okay, we can't go to that one. Now we can go to the fourth floor. The cool thing is, it's actually moving to the floors. <laughs> Like, you can see it, it's totally actually moving to the floors, rather than just sort of like some move, and then... What was that? 
Man, I didn't even hear half this shit the first time when I played this. I mean, I, I didn't play this with headphones the first time I played it. I gotta admit, the sound design in this game is immaculate. It really is. Okay. Don't tell me, there's only two doors, and they're both locked. Wow, I'm so glad I came to this floor. Let's try the fifth floor. At least we don't have to run up the fucking stairs. So, like, I don't remember there being... I'm going to do Silent Hill 2 after this. I admit, I, I really like this game, right? I really like Silent Hill 3. It is probably, like, my favorite one because... Well, not my... I don't know if I don't know if actually thinking about it. It's probably not my favorite one. It's not the scariest. I mean, I'm not scared out by this game whatsoever. Like, the only point, though, I have to admit, earlier on, I was legitimately scared. Was, like, when I thought I was going to get fucking crushed by the train. I really did think I was going to get crushed by that train. I'm not fucking around with this thing. Let's just use this. They just knock me over in like one hit and then just like hurt me by crawling around me. Is it dead? Where'd it go? It's not dead. Is it dead now? Give it a few kicks, we'll find out. Fucking thing. Alright, okay, let's check out the rest of these rooms. Locked. Look at that. That's some creepy shit right there. There's a big sheet of glass in the way. Bulletproof glass as well. We can go through here. Is there anything in here? I'm going to guess in that direction, an infinite void. So let's not go that way. I think it's it's one of those games where, like... Or it's one of those difficulties where, like... If you push it too far, she'll just jump off the edge. Like, for real, that's what she'll do. 